All clean energy transitions should lead with energy efficiency because it makes them cheaper and more achievable. And that's why at the International Energy Agency we call energy efficiency the first fuel. We examine around the world the possibilities for energy efficiency and we see that in the next two decades the world could become twice as energy efficient just by using existing technologies. So we encourage governments to put the policies in place that will deliver those benefits. The international energy works on all fuels and all technologies and we see that the demands of decarbonisation and the demands of clean energy tra transitions need every solution we, we can find and therefore all actions are required and governments need to act strongly to help deliver the future of the energy systems of the world. We see society getting more interested in, in all energy and climate issues and that's really important because so many matters depend on behaviour and investment by companies and by citizens but of course policy is centrally important. Governments have a key role in putting the right policies in place that will encourage investments, encourage the changes in behaviour and investment that are required to deliver clean energy transitions. Certainly we see that there is huge potential for better energy efficiency in the short term. Countries could be becoming more efficient much faster than they are and in fact we are concerned that energy efficiency progress is slowing down around the world. So governments can act to put stronger policies in place that will deliver immediate benefits and it means lower greenhouse gas emissions, more secure energy systems but also lower energy bills for us all. So energy efficiency can lead in making people's lives more comfortable and better while also delivering on our environmental commitments. Mm -hmm.